guys uh, in this video we will discuss about uh, how to create a gerber file for the fabrication of microstrip antennas so when you need to fabricate this uh, microstrip antenna we need to generate the gerber file so here i will show you how to create that gerber file now so here you can see that this is the design the microstrip antenna we have same as uh, we have three layers we named it as ground and the top uh, bottom part is your ground then we have a substrate that is in the center part and most topper part that is nothing but your pad so here we need to create separate gerber cell for ground for the substrate and for the pad so we need to create totally of three gerber files which will be used to fabricate your uh, antenna so now in order to create this uh, gerber file i'm going to select the patch material here in the left corner inside the components and we have patch here select the patch material first then go to modeling and we have an option called pick so inside the pick we have pick face so click on pick face now double click on your microstrip patch now you are getting a red dot like structure that means that patch is completely selected now go to local wcs and in the left side we have an option called align wcs so click on align wcs now you are getting uh, a three dimensional axis u in the x direction v in the y direction and w in the z direction so we assign the local coordinates now now click on this local w wcs and we have an option called local coordinate system properties now get into that now change your x and y value to zero x value change to zero and y value change to zero then click ok right now this three dimensional coordinate will take the exact center point of your patch right now go to export click on two dimensional and click on gerber single layer now the entire patch will be highlighted now press enter now i am going to create a folder inside any local directory so i am going to save this folder in create a folder inside uh, my videos folder I rename it as uh, gerber output now open the folder now in the file name i am giving the name as patch because i am creating the gerber file for my patch layer so give a name for that material called patch now click save now the video is created now now the second thing is after creating this click on this wcs click once you need to remove the selection right now go and choose the second layer the second layer is nothing but substrate all right so click on substrate now again the same step we need to do first you go to your pick select pick face now double click on the substrate material now the entire substrate is selected now again go to w local wcs click on align wcs now you can see that the coordinate u v w will be selected there now inside that you go to local coordinate system properties give the value check whether the x y value is zero and click ok now go to export 2d files gerber file now press enter you can see that the entire red color is the substrate now press enter now you need to give the file name as substrate right then click save now we need to create the gerber file for the last layer that is ground select ground here now remove the wcs right now go to align wcs right now now you can see uh see that you double click on the surface uh, i mean your ground layer now it is created now you can go to local coordinate system change the properties now get the y value you are getting some other value so y value changes to zero so always keep x and y values are zero now click ok 
now it is taking the center point of your material now again go to import or export option click on 2d file click gerber right now the entire ground structure will be highlighted in red color now click enter now we are again need to give a file name ground and save your file now all the three layers is converted to gerber file now i am going to see whether the file is properly aligned now we need to use an external software which is nothing but gerb view it is locally available you can download it go to google type gerb view and click on this uh, gerb view software it is a trial version because uh, i am using i didn't get the license right so go to evaluation now we have a top side here on the left side you have an option called add a layer so click on that add layers go to the folder where i save the gerber file it's nothing but inside the video i have gerber output folder so i have three three gerber files named ground patch and substrate select all the three layers and click ok now you are getting a structure like this so you can see that ground structure is first patch is your second and substrate is your last one so we need to I rearrange the order so I am shifting the ground to bottom side so that you can for that you can use the button uh, move down now it's going down yeah this is the substrate because we have the patch layer on the top you can see this is the patch layer and under the patch we have substrate so the purple color is nothing but your patch uh, substrate and finally you have the ground layer if I am disabling that substrate you can see the ground layer is behind the substrate layer so if you need to change the color you can click on the particular material if i choose changing the color of the substrate select the substrate in the left panel and go to the right side you have an option called track color so there you can click on and choose any other color okay so uh, this uh, in this way we can verify the generator gerber file is aligned properly so I hope you enjoy the session. So keep on uh, watching the video, uh, subscribe my channel and share this so that you can get in the next video related to CSP Microwave Studio. Thank you.